Hi, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Christopher the Crab. This is Christopher Crab, and to draw Christopher you're going to need a pencil, and maybe a pencil sharpener, and an eraser to erase any mistakes you make, and at the end a black pencil or a black marker to outline him with. Um, you might need some color pencils or some color markers to, to color him in. But as usual, I'm going to use this gray marker just so you can see what I'm doing, but you should be using a pencil. Okay, so Christopher starts like so many of our drawings with a nice big oval shape. This is going to be Christopher's body. We're going to make a big oval shape just like this. Okay. Now Christopher's eyes are on something called eye stalks, which are something a crab has. So I'm going to draw one circle right here for one of his eyes. And you'll see it's not connected to his body yet. And then another eye just like this. And remember, if I am drawing too quickly, you can always pause the video and uh, catch up. So then I'm going to make two little straight lines just connecting those eyeballs right to his head. These are the eye stalks. And these are very useful for a crab because when crabs like to hide, they can pop their eyes up above um, from behind a rock or under the sand and see what they need to see without being seen by something that might want to eat them. I'm going to give this uh, Christopher Crab, he's quite happy, so I'm going to give him those happy kind of eyes that look like an upside down U. Just like that. And another one over here. There we go. Um, we're going to give him big, big claws. So I think we're going to start by just making two lines like this coming out from the side. And then we'll do a big curving line for one part of the claw like that. And then another curving line all the way down to here. I'm going to bring this line all the way up to near the top of the page. This is for the other side of that claw. Just passing by that line. Don't worry if, you, if you've crossed it uh, over because this is just for the pencil part. You can erase any mistakes you make after we go over it with our um, black marker or black pencil crayon. So that's one of his big claws. We're going to do the other one the same way. Two lines for the the arm part of the claw, and then a big circle like that, or part circle, and then down to there. I'm going to stop it, and I'll bring this line and just pass by the edge of that line like this, and then back down to there. And again, don't worry if that didn't look quite perfect. You can always um, erase it after we do our black marker lines. Okay, so I think I've actually not drawn enough legs on Christopher Crab here. I think a crab actually had, in fact, I know a crab actually has 10 legs altogether with the two claws. Um, so really, I should have had one extra leg on the bottom here. But just to make it a little easier to draw, we'll stick with the wrong number of legs. So I'm going to draw kind of a a long um, finger shape coming off the body there. And then we'll put a line there just so we show there's a break. And just like that. And then the bottom part of the leg like that. And one more here. And just like this. Okay, and the same on the other side. I'm going to give him, oops, my real crabby here is, uh, <laughs> oh no, I think I broke off a little piece of his shell. Hmm? I should be careful. I'll move him over. Okay, then legs on this side, like this. The joint is there. And again. this, there, and one more, and 
it looks like he's dancing or scuttling sideways, which is one of the things that crabs love to do. I'm going to give him a little smile right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a, a wavy line at the bottom here, just to show that the sea is kind of rushing up the beach. Just like that. And another one. Just like that. And then I'm going to very lightly put in some sand dunes in the background here with a few little pieces of uh, sand grass on the top. That grass is what keeps the dunes together. That's why we're not supposed to walk um, in the sand dunes at Brackley because if that grass gets torn up, then the sand dunes will just blow away and that would be very sad. Okay, that's all we need to do with our pencil for Christopher Crab. So I'm gonna take my black outliner marker now and uh, you can do the same. And again, if uh, after you've outlined it with marker, then if there's any extra lines you don't need, you can always erase them. So I'm not going to go over all of these lines. For example, this little line here where at the bottom of the eyeball, I'm not gonna go over that with my marker because I would want to erase that at the end. So we've been talking um, in some of our other videos about insects and insects, another name um, for all insects because they're part of a special family of animals is arthropods. And arthropods have a hard skeleton on the outside of their body. And crabs and lobsters and other animals that live in the sea are also um, arthropods if they have that kind of hard shell on the outside of them. And so a crab has a hard shell to keep it safe and it's all of its insides are kind of softer and they need to be kept safe so he has that hard um, skeleton on the outside they've got very flat bodies and like i said they have um adapted so they have these special eye stalks so that they can see around kind of around corners or over over the top of things they might need to see around to stay safe. Um, all of the oceans in the world have crabs in them. And here on Prince Edward Island, if you want to see lots of crabs, I don't see as many of them on the, the North Shore here. I know that there are some, um, but when I want to see crabs, I go to the South Shore of Prince Edward Island, to the red sand beaches, and that's a place where I've always seen lots and lots and lots of crabs. Um, and different kinds of crabs too, crabs that look like uh, Christopher here, but also hermit crabs, the ones that are inside little shells or big shells. Um, but sea crabs um, are like fish because they have gills, which are what allow them to uh, breathe underwater. But there are also land crabs, and land crabs don't have gills. Land crabs have kind of spaces inside their body that are a little bit like um, the lungs that we have, that we humans have to breathe. There we go. Um, a whole group of crabs together is called a cast of crabs, which is something I just learned um, yesterday when I was reading about crabs to make this video. Of course, the, these big claws, which are called pincers, um, are what they use to, to grab their food. And also if they do get into a fight, which Unfortunately, crabs can be a little bit uh, crabby, and they do tend to get into fights with other crabs, especially boy crabs tend to fight with other boy crabs, um, and they use these pincers sometimes to fight with each other. Um, but one interesting thing that I, I don't think I knew before, or if I did, I forgot about it, is that if they lose one of their pincers, or if they lose one of their legs in a fight, um, or if another animal is trying to eat them, um, there are some kinds of crabs that can grow back their claws and grow back their legs, which is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, crabs also come in all uh, sizes. Um, the biggest crabs in the world actually live in Japan. They're called spider crabs, and they are absolutely huge. And crabs can also be extremely small. So it just depends on the type of crab. Um, crabs communicate with each other uh, by waving their claws around or sometimes by 
drumming with their claws, which is also pretty interesting. Okay, so the other claw here. Another thing about their claws or pincers that I didn't know is that apparently you can tell the difference between boy crabs and girl crabs by the color of their pincers. And funnily enough, boy crabs often have blue pincers or blue claws and uh, girl crabs often have red pincers. Um, crabs are omnivores. Now we've talked a little bit before about um, what animals eat and we you might remember that we've talked about meat eating animals which are called carnivores and I don't know if we've talked about plant eating animals um, but for example the um, caterpillar we drew on Monday uh, caterpillars are mostly plant eating so they're herbivores but some animals eat both plants and other animals and they are called omnivores and so crabs are omnivores they will eat other animals and they also will eat plants okay um, crabs of course have to be very careful because seagulls especially love to eat crabs and I often when I go to the beach find uh, crab shells like this one here you can see his where his little eye stalks would have been able to pop out there and you can see how flat the body is um, but probably he got eaten by a seagull that poor guy um, but if you go to the beach you should look out because it's always interesting to see if you can find some crabs either alive or even if you find dead ones it can be it can be fun to look at them um, Okay, I think that's all we need to do for the drawing part. So I'm just going to bring back the uh, color version. And so here is Christopher uh, in color. So I went with the, a lot of crabs are red. So I went with the, the kind of the regular red color with a bit of a light blue highlight there on the side. And then I colored the beach kind of sandy um, color and then put some grass on the top and colored the sea blue. All right, but of course you can change the color if you would like and uh, make it um, all kinds of wonderful colors if you would like. All right, thanks for coming today and I will see you guys again.